So thank you. Uh, today I'm going to talk about some of the computational work that we're doing related to mitigation strategies for COVID-19 and potentially future pandemics. So in general, uh, for pandemic preparedness, that can involve iterative cycles of prediction followed by the development of prevention and mitigation strategies. And in work that we did on COVID-19, we were looking at predicting pandemic progression. So we first carried out a structure function analysis looking at the receptor binding domain or RBD of the spike protein. So this for SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. And the spike protein binds to the human ACE2 receptor as one of the first steps in host cell entry. And we showed that epitopes for RBD targeting neutralizing antibodies overlap substantially and that they can be evaded by escape mutants uh, with ACE2 binding affinities from the literature that are comparable to wild type. We then performed evolutionary modeling to predict the frequency of immune escape. And we showed that resistance to vaccines can uh, develop quickly. And, and taken together, this points to the need for strategies for viral elimination that are diversified across molecular targets and therapeutic modalities. Then thinking ahead to pandem pandemic prediction, uh, sorry, pandemic preparedness for future pandemics in a related project, we developed a machine learning model to identify the spike protein or the equivalent in other res respiratory viruses, and another model to identify the respiratory virus family for an unknown viral sequence. So we looked across five respiratory virus families, all of which have a surface glycoprotein or a spike, and we developed highly accurate classification models based on predicted secondary structure elements and end glycosylation sites. And typically, uh, very early on, for an unknown virus, the sequence is known, and the spike protein or its equivalent is a key target for drug and vaccine development. So with regards to that, we're in the early stages of designing novel classes of COVID-19 therapeutics, in particular those that disrupt that spike protein ACE uh, binding interface. And the spike protein in its open conformation binds to ACE2. And many of the therapeutics that are currently in development are aimed at disrupting that interface by binding to spike in the open conformation. So instead, we are looking at designing uh, new classes of agents with two distinct mechanisms of action. In the first instance, we're engineering peptides that bind to ACE2 at bind to ACE2 at the interface instead of spike. And in the second, we're carrying out virtual screens for small molecules that bind to the spike protein in a closed conformation and potentially prevent that transition to the open conformation and thereby prevent binding to ACE2. Now, in terms of novel agents or repurposed drugs, the route of administration and formulation is also often critical. And so given for COVID-19, the nasopharynx is the initial site of infection, we are also working on the optimization of intranasal drug delivery parameters. So we developed a, a protocol for nasal spray use that increases the delivered dose at the nasal pharynx by a hundredfold. And that's based on computational fluid dynamic simulations. And as an extension of that work, we are characterizing population variations across nasal geometries to further inform our drug delivery optimization. And in the future, that work may play a role in, um, in uh, having more personalized intranasal drug delivery options available for other respiratory illnesses. Thank you.